Coming up on this week's edition of Inside the Tribe, we'll get a recap of Homecoming Week 2018. Plus, Danielle Kramer put together footage of the marching graders at the Morton competition a few weeks ago. Stay tuned to get an inside look at a day in the life of a marching raider. Inside the Tribe starts right now. Now, from the Raider Nation, this is East Peoria's own Inside the Tribe. Welcome back from the Weekend Raiders. I'm Taylor Bork. And I'm Becca Ransom. Our marching Raiders have had a phenomenal competition season so far. They took best in class at the Morton competition a few weeks ago. And at the Geneseo competition, they took best wins, best percussion first in class, and second overall. Danny Kramer put together a segment that shows all of us a day in the life of a marching Raider. Hi, this is Danielle. I'm a senior in the marching band. Today we are headed to the Morton High School Marching Invitational and I'm here to show you what a typical competition day is like for us. Cassandra, what are we doing right now? Um, we are currently about to have our morning practice and we will be continue on with more competition. Just had our lunch break and now we are getting ready to go to Morton. My favorite part is hanging out with my friends after performing and watching all the other amazing bands perform. My favorite thing about competitions, uh, it's gotta be just being with the band, having fun all day long, uh, depending on where we're going. Uh, and then the bus ride definitely is fun. Then getting to the competition, and just being in that atmosphere, it's one of the best feelings you can have being in the band. All right, we have arrived at Morton. We have our uniforms on and we're ready for a great performance. Are you a student who has questions about college and career planning? If so, our ISAC representative, Emily Blankenship, will be at EPCHS on Thursday, October 4th. She's also a great resource for financial aid and scholarships. To make an appointment, click on the ISAC sign-up file in your Senior Resources Google Drive folder. If you have any questions, talk to your counselor. If you ordered a yearbook and did not pick it up before the Variety Show last week, you can get one from Mrs. Dawson or Mrs. Spears during Raider Hour or before or after school. If you did not buy a yearbook and want to purchase one, the cost is $65. See Ms. Dawson or Mrs. Spears with any questions. Last week was a pretty busy week for everyone because of homecoming. But homecoming week didn't stop some of our athletes from performing well. Here are Jack and Sarah back for another set of shoutouts on the Raider Report. I'm Sarah LaHood and this is Jack Skaggs and we're back with the Raider Report to give a few shout outs. Our first shout out goes to the Lady Raiders cross country team who had their best race of the season last Saturday, September 23rd. Freshman Tressa Tucker led the way with a personal record while Krista Messer, Lizelle Lindo, and Riley Fortune all had season best. Hannah Moeller and Haley Cotton also had their personal records. The boys' crush country team also ran very well on Saturday, September 23rd. The boys had 16 athletes compete, 11 season bests, and 7 lifetime bests. Keaton Vandal had a top 20 finish by placing 18th overall. Good job to all the runners this weekend. One additional shout-out goes to Clarice Wolf for making the Mid-Illini Golf All-Conference first team. 
This is the second year in a row for Clarice to do so. Great job, Clarice. Congratulations to Mason Becker on his new volunteer position at the Riverfront Museum in Peoria. Mason works every Thursday and Friday from 12 to 2 in the museum lobby, where he leads visitors through a short activity. Great job, Mason. Picture retakes are October 4th. If you need a picture packet, you can pick one up in student services or in the attendance office. The Festival of Lights Queen pageant will soon be upon us. Any young lady interested in entering the pageant can get an entry form or more information at www.felipe.org or at the Facebook page listed at the bottom of your screen. Congratulations are in order for seniors Jessica and Lexi Dorch. Jessica has been selected as the DAR Award winner and Lexi has been selected as the SAR Award winner for the EPCHS Class of 2019. Congratulations, ladies. Now, let's take a look at the brought to you by by some of your favorite people. And get an inside look at some homecoming memories. This next segment of Inside the Tribe is brought to you by the people who really run this school. That's not all, but that's all we have time for for today. For the full set of announcements, go to the EP website or listen to my awesome co-host, Becca Ransom, every day during Raider Hour. 
Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at inside underscore the tribe. And here's Gavin Franklin, our number one Inside the Tribe fan, for an important announcement. Hey guys, G-Man here. Also, you can also support Inside the Tribe on YouTube as well. All you have to do is go on the YouTube website, search for Inside the Tribe, and subscribe to our channel right around here, and smash that like button, and we'll be back every Monday morning. I'm Becca Ransom. I'm Gavin Franklin. And I'm Taylor Bort. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a, a great, great Raider Day. day.